Kigali Center Photography will today inaugurate a nine-day-long celebration of photography and the importance of images through an event dubbed Kigali Photofest, created to recognize and nurture photography as an art. We are joined by Jacques Nizingabo, founder of Kigali Center, for more. Jacques, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Today. Now, what's the what's the deal behind uh, the Kigali Photo Fest? Um, so, Kigali Photo Fest is a new initiative uh, co-founded by myself and uh, Chibuka, who's a Ugandan. Um, it's a celebration of African photography. Uh, we have uh, the work from different African photographers, very uh, very big. Some of them, uh, most of them, actually. Um, so Kigali Photo Fest is not only about showing the work, but it's uh, also about to educate. What is photography? How do we tell our stories? Uh, how do we portray our communities? What does Rwanda mean to me, for example, with my work? What does Africa mean to us? Like telling our own stories and yeah. sharing to our people. Yeah. yeah, actually, yesterday we had a conversation with someone else about regarding the photography in sector here in Rwanda. Yes. Now we're seeing many people are picking up interests. Now, yeah. would you say that photography is a career or is it still just something that people do as a hobby on the side? Um, in Rwanda, it's very hard to say, but it's really nice, it's interesting to see that so many young people are really getting into it, uh, and there is so much access now to, to, to the cameras, and uh, there are cameras out there people can access very easily now, but uh, it doesn't mean like, everyone is a photographer, they say, but what makes you different into that, yeah? Um, so I'd say in Rwanda, it's, it's coming slowly, starting with a new generation, yeah? Um, we are adopting in every corner. So it's not only uh, in photography or in, in art or culture. We are adopting different ways. Yeah, so it's coming. It's coming. It's on the way. Yeah. yeah. And now we see that uh, when we look at the photography, yeah. wedding photographers are, if I may say, the people who actually earn a living from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now with the Kigali Photo Fest that is coming up, with the young people who are coming up and coming to you, yeah. what advice do you usually give them? How can they make photography a sustainable thing for them? So we are more into visual storytelling, uh, more telling stories than commercial, uh, which at the end you can make money, you can earn money with that. I'm a documentary photographer and I don't have any other work. Uh, only the thing I do is DJing and I don't make money and it's hobby. People take it as hobby, yeah? But photography, I make money. Yeah. I'm running the center through photography and we are organizing all of this uh, because of photography. Yeah, uh, so when someone comes to Kigali Photo Fest, it's not only about seeing their work. So there is something that we provide, giving them confidence, showing them that photography is not a limit. It's not only about taking photos, oh, it's beautiful, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and our target is not only about the people who are interested in the photography, but also it's our stories. Yes. Know? So we have a photographers, for example, from Mali, Sudan, um, Tanzania, uh, different countries. So how, we, if we come to the exhibition, we learn what's the culture, how is it there, what's the life, what's the situation. It can be political, it can be into arts, performance, so it's combination. So when people come to Kigali Photo Fest, it's not all photo centers, it's not only about showing them, but it's also teaching. But uh, part of the festival, we are not going to exhibit only, we are going to give workshops as well. Uh, tomorrow there is a mass class by a uh, British photographer, um, and uh, we have projections, uh, we have a lot of work. Things, yeah. yeah, and we've yeah. seen people in the private sector like yourself, you have different initiatives to promote yeah. the photography sector. Now, would you say that the government is doing enough in order for the young people who are passionate about this to have incubators, to have, are there policies that actually guard them? What is your opinion? Uh, I think so far we do have laws or something, or limitation for what we can do, not to do which is also an advantage for us sometimes to do something. An advantage? Yeah. How is it an advantage? Yeah. Uh, because, uh, let me say, uh, so far they don't say th there is no law. I haven't seen a law that permit me to take pictures of the people in Rwanda. 
Hmm. You get so it. So it requires a law to permit you to take pictures of people. If I go to German yes. to take pictures of a kid, it's something else. It's very hard. So this is an advantage for photographers here. Yeah. yeah. But uh, we have to use it in a good way, which is very important, yeah. Uh, but come back to the government. Um, you know, Rwanda, for, I always keep mentioning this, repeat, is the country in progress, yeah. So the re I would say the government, the last, the past three years is really uh, pushing a lot. The youth with what they have, not only photography or art, but you saw it also in ICT. So it's growing, it's coming. And the more they push, investors will get in. So it's on the way, it's yeah. coming. So it's on the way, it's, it's the coming. beginning now. Yeah, it's a yeah. beginning. And we've yeah. also seen at Rwanda Development Board, they're also pushing for yeah. people to get to know the intellectual property law. But do you think that the young people already know? Do they, or do we need to, more to be done in order for people to know what it means, for them to know their rights? Yeah, it's important. It's really important to know. Yeah. yeah, and do yeah. you think that that policy is effective, that that policy is being working? Um, yeah, it's coming. Yeah? Uh, yeah, you feel it. Uh, because, uh, look, uh, you do photography, uh, when you take pictures, and people think when you take a photo, it's just right there. That's why sometimes I fight with the people, oh, I need my picture tomorrow. No, it's a, it's a progress. Uh, it's not even about editing and exporting, but it comes to the right. Yes. It comes to the policies. Okay. Yeah. 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 And we've also seen in the photography sector, it's yeah. uh, mainly dominated by men. So yeah. in the Kigali Photo Fest that will be happening, do you have a certain yeah. number of women who should also be part of it? Or how are you going to promote women in photography? Uh, thanks for mentioning this um, and also for asking. Um, First, starting with the team, um, organizing the event, we have, uh, I would say, 95% of women working on this. But with the festival as well, uh, we have a panel discussion uh, on the women in photography. And the theme is, where are we? So we, we, um, so we thought about it because it was a challenge of Lola's areas to get the female photographers uh, to the festival. It's not only in Rwanda, even on the continent, it's worldwide. Yes. You know, it's worldwide. So, so we invited uh, some few photographers to be here and, uh, and the curators are around and uh, we have other people who are really interested into art and uh, human rights. Uh, so we will talk about this. We have of course this and uh, we are thinking about how in the next, because uh, it's going to happen every two years, in the next edition, we could have a program for female photographers as well, oh. like a mentoring program. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we do look forward to having more discussions ar around this as well as how to continue promoting women Thanks in photography. Lot. Thanks a lot. Yes, thank you yeah. so much. Thank